Danny, we take a break from League Two action this weekend as we embark on our Emirates FA Cup campaign. I want to start by asking you how much the competition means to you personally. It's massive. It's the FA Cup. Um, at the end of the day, it's a fantastic tournament, and um, we'll be going down there to Maidstone to give it everything we've got and try and try and get through to the next round. What are your early memories <coughs> of the, the Emirates FA Cup in terms of you one of these who, you know, used to watch Grandstand all day when uh, it was on BBC One? <laughs> well, not that old, Bob. Jesus. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, you make it out like fifty years old, but no, um, it, it, it used to be a big, big occasion. Um, watching the FA Cup um, as you were growing up as a kid, but um, it's not, not quite that way for the bigger teams now, but it is for us little teams. Um, the FA Cup's massive and there's a lot of revenue to be made. Um, if you make it through a couple of rounds, you never know, you might get a big team, but you know we'll be focusing on, on Maystone and, and giving it our all to get through to the next round. Like you say, Maystone will be a, a tough side, of course. Uh, a side you will um, know a lot about, having faced them as recently as March. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I thought I'd seen the back of these plastic pitches, if I'm honest. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm not playing myself, um, which I'm quite thankful of in a, in a strange way. Um, but no, we'll be going there. Obviously, the lads who played against them last season will be fully aware of what a tough environment it is um, with the pitch being how it is. And they're, they're a typical non, non-league team. They'll, be, they'll play a bit, but they'll be in your face, making it as difficult as possible for you. Um, the lads have got to be, be up for that. Uh, roll the sleeves up, which we'll tell them today and tomorrow. We'll get it in the red, so it is, is going to be a battle. And if they're not prepared to, uh, you know, roll the sleeves up and have a, a bit of a, a bit of a fight, then you know we'll get rolled over. Um, in terms of the plastic pitch, which you alluded to, Danny, uh, does that influence how you prepare for the game, or is it a case uh, of you know business as usual? Just business as usual, really. I mean, we've got one out there, three G, I think it is. Not not quite as good as the one we're going to be playing on, but. They're all different, so it doesn't really matter. You go and practice on this one out there, the, the one on Saturday will be, I don't know, it'll be a lot, lot different. I think it's, it is fairly new, a couple of years old, we're one outside about 10 years old, so there is a big difference. And they all play differently as well, so it's just getting in the player's edge what to expect. And like I say, there's quite a few played on it last season, so they'll know and be aware of, of, of what to expect. After the Berry game, Dan, you said that some of the players needed to fight for the shirts and I guess for the FA Cup game on, on Saturday you'd be looking for that fighting mentality won't you? Yeah definitely I mean you've got to show that going into any game whether it's an FA Cup league game uh, check a trade trophy re- even a reserve game you've got, to, you've got to prove to me and Neil that you deserve a place on the team and go out there and put a shift in and, um, and that's all you can ask Everyone was giving a boost in the week to see uh, last season's wizard on the wing, as we call him, Elliot Durrell, back in action. Is he likely to play a part on Saturday? Uh, he'll play some part, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's minutes on the pitch that he needs to get back to, to anything near what he was like last season. Um, so it, it'll take a few weeks, might even take a, a month, um, just to get him back to where he was before he got his, his injury, yeah. And in terms of yourself, Danny, how close are you to return? I'm guessing... Uh, You've been up against it over the last few weeks, taking the team on one side of the coin and also getting yourself through your rehab in another. Yeah, it's been difficult all round really, because obviously being injured isn't isn't a great a great thing in its in its in itself. But you know, you get on with it, and obviously being thrown in the deep end doing what I've been doing, which I've been thoroughly enjoying to be honest. It's it's, uh, it's what I want to go into, but obviously these circumstances aren't aren't easy. But you know, it's it's the football in it at the end of the day. But I'll be back next week training um, with the lads next week. So hopefully, you know, next league game might be available for some sort. And finally, Danny, uh, let's be honest, it's not just a short trip to Mason. What would you say to all those people planning on making the journey with us? Just stick stick with us. Um, obviously, it's, a, it's an FA Cup tie. Um, a little break from the league like you alluded to before, which is nice. So come down, enjoy the game. The lads will be putting a shift in, I know that for a fact, and you know, hopefully we can uh, get our name in the, in the hat for the next round.